I don't like clowns. Take. The democratic policies. In the state of Oregon, mm -hmm. someone can walk up in to, to your two-year-old kid completely bare naked, and that's not a crime, even if it's on your property. Correct. Well, so it's trespassing, but what I'm saying is there's no <laughs> laws against the, the actual nudity portion of it. So, so you I'm, can expose yourself to children in Oregon. Again, if if you're not doing it for sexual gratification or the gratification of somebody else, yes, you are allowed to walk around in public naked. On private property, this is where I live, and someone just came and exposed themselves to my two-year-old boy, and right. this officer saying that it's not a crime. So a naked person came up onto my property here, approached my two-year-old kid completely naked, which I ran over to him and covered his eyes so he wouldn't see. My obvious thought is to call 911 as someone's indecently exposing themselves to my child on my property. At what point did this become a normal and acceptable thing to do? The cops will literally do nothing about it. They're basically saying we have to wait for that person to do something more serious to your kid before we can intervene. It's so- they can just get away with anything they want. No boundaries whatsoever. That's fucked up. Yeah. Let's see some more of these unscientific hypotheses. Did you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality, and it basically has to do with the fact that historically, as queer and trans people, our lives have started much later, and for a whole bunch of reasons, ended earlier than our cishet counterparts. So as a result, our experience of time is compressed. It also has to do with the fact that those milestones that we've been socialized to use to mark the passage of time, so things like marriage or having a children or, you know, working, retiring, inheritance, things like that, haven't been accessible to us. And that linear timeline has a name, heterochronology. And as queer and trans people, our experience of time often sits outside that. Basically, it's super interesting, and I'm going to be unpacking it more this week on the podcast. So listen in uh, wherever you like to do that. What a bunch of fucking bullshit. I love babies. I love Jesus them. Woman. Jesus, woman. we have to give her the word. I've had like we have 45 to give her the abortions, but I'm going to keep having them. You need our God. We are God. Demons. Mississippi family came under fire from carjackers in an unprovoked ambush. And I threw my hands up. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. And he just pulled me down. Heather Ellen and her family were on their front lawn when two men broke in to steal a car. One of them pushed Ellen's daughter out of the vehicle, but her son and grandchildren were inside. My daughter was like, my babies, my babies are in the car. And he points a gun in my oldest boy's face. The thieves were unable to start Ellen's daughter's car, and then the woman threw them the keys to her own vehicle in which they drove away. The car was found abandoned just two blocks from the house, and police are still working to find the thieves. I'm not supposed to talk about stuff like that. She's about to get a big dose of it. Bark for me like a good boy and I'll let you kiss my ass. Hey, yo. I'm definitely not barking. Why not? You Just want bark. to be honest? Just bark. Why? I don't think you're all that to me to bark. Get the f*** out. Get, get the f*** out. She doesn't like it.
it is a messed up world.